Hey, welcome to the Engineer's Workshop. I got an unexpected uh, January present from Virginia Power. I'm out here by the transformer and there are flags in the ground. So that means that uh, we're one step closer to getting new service um, here at the building. Single phase 400 amp service to start and following up with uh, 463 phase at some point. So super excited. This is a major milestone. I can stop running the generator soon. So what it looks like they're doing from Dominion Virginia Power is they're kind of leapfrogging past the uh, the legacy transformer, which they said they were going to abandon. I don't know if that means abandon in place or remove it, but uh, looks like they're going to be placing three discrete transformers. So um, right front, left front transformer. Here again, right front, left front, and then uh, transformer number three, right front, left front. And so with three of those, I guess one, one discrete transformer per phase, um, making all the connections underground, I really don't know how they're, how they're doing this. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, obviously, the one transformer that we need for... The single phase, the 240 single phase, is going to be one type, and then, you know, when we go to three phase, uh, those are going to have to be, um, you know, four, four, six, 277, 460 transformers. So I don't know. You know, we'll we'll see what they're doing, and then the cable route going up to the panel on the on the side there. So maybe they're going to, you know, pull enough wires and do enough of a rough end so that they don't have to change anything when they go to uh, go to three phase. So we will see. Things should be happening shortly. How'd you get up there? <laughs> so nimble. Yeah, you had a bunch of uh, trees. I almost hate to cut the blackberries down. Well, slowly but surely, making progress. Back when this was a sawmill, this steel structure was covered and the uh, boards would come out of the sawmill, I guess, to do their initial drying under this cover. I sold all this steel, and uh, this will come down when the new owner decides to uh, bring out his torch and start cutting it apart. I think it gives you a better perspective of the size of the building by looking at the top and the inside. I'll give you a shot of what it looks like from up here. So we've got 10 inch deep 
purlins. And this is the bay with the cross bracing. So we've got the Monarch lathe, got our generator, the hay wagon, pile of junk, Thunderbird, truck, got our Mershon resaw in pieces and its 60 horse motor. Got the Spitfire body. Saw blade, restaurant equipment, unfinished wall, drill press. Workbench. And all of the steel in the floor that has to be cut flush or encased in another layer of concrete. Mm-hmm.